What's up, gang? It's Willie Rebuild back with another one, baby. Y'all see what it is? I'm over here by the Cutlass man. You know he don't want to leave the car alone. He steadily, he steadily trying to change up the situation and make it better. So today, what we got going is I came over here uh, a few weeks ago and removed the headers because the Cutlass man. He want to ceramic coat the headers and make them look prettier. He want the swap to look prettier, gang. So there y'all go. These the hooker long tube headers that has been discontinued. And uh, they was black. We sent them out to a local uh, ceramic coating place. And they took care of them. Looked like they did a pretty good job on them. This the second time that we used this uh, shop for ceramic coating. We did the ones on the Monte Carlo too and let them take care of that. Also, what we did to the cutlass is we removed the uh, column shift and put a flow shift in it, gang. As y'all can see, uh, it now has the B&M shift in it and we have an original console for a cutlass and we install the flow shift in it that's right but oh yeah another thing we did too was with the seats we took the original seats and we got the driver seat cut to give it the bucket seat look but this the factory seats that we got cut and then got them upholstered. The guy used the factory material and just closed it off to make it look like a bucket seat, but it's not actually a bucket seat. A uh, bucket seat, so we can accommodate for the console and the flow shifter. But we got plans coming soon for the cutlass game. What we got right here is a Bell Block Six O that we getting ready to uh not sure how we want to do it i'm not sure if we want to go full way stroker with it or if i want to build something a little bit more tame and just give him a little bit more cubes i don't know if we want to go more cubic inch or uh, if we want to do something kind of like mild and reliable but close to factory because he drive the car basically every day and he want to run AC. So we want to, we don't want to go too radical with it. We want to keep something, you know, kind of mild, but right here, what we got is a set of LS3 heads that we going to send out and get CNC, uh, probably new valves in them. Of course, new springs and all that seals and everything in them. But um, we kind of in the middle. I'm trying to work on something with him to well, you know, the engine is not so radical. I don't know if we want to go full weight stroker and I just put something mild in it for as the cam or if we want to just put some forged internals in the uh, 6 o and leave it a 6 o or stroke it to LS3 and kind of run it with just a small blower cam in it because we're going to put a LSA blower on top of the motor, whatever we do. So we kind of undecided, you know, I've been going back and forth with him on that, on how we going to work that out and what the situation going to be, gang. But I'm about to go ahead on and get the car jacked up and get the headers back installed on our full per eight. And, um... We gonna, I'm going to go ahead and get the job done, gang. I'm trying to get him on camera so he can let y'all, you know, he can give y'all a review and an update. Man, come get the people a review, man. Come get the people a review, man, on the, on the swap. He'll, come get the people a review on the swap, man. I ain't going to put you on camera, man. They see it. They see it. Let them know, uh, you know, how long it's been? About eight months, nine months, something like that. Mm -hmm. 
How the, how the swap holding up after eight, nine months to really rebuild swap? I tell you what. You got to talk up so they can hear because I got the I got the phone in my earpiece. I tell you what, go show them the mileage. The mileage show it off. No he won't show the, he won't show show the mileage how many miles he done put on this swap because I try to tell y'all when you get a willy rebuild swap it's not just going around the block baby no sir so Dakota digital installed by willy rebuild and right now she's sitting at a Look like about 3,500 miles on it. 3,590.7 miles. Not, it's not a daily daily, but he drive it a lot. Got almost 4,000 miles on the swap and the swap still holding up strong, gang. A lot of people be asking me, well, how I get in touch with you, Willie Rebuild? Right now, Willie Rebuild is in the process of doing a lot of things. I'm in the process of changing shops, and I'm in the process of putting a website together for y'all. So for now, if you want to get in touch with Willie Rebuild, what you do is you go on Facebook, and you type in Willie Rebuild, and you shoot old Willie Rebuild a message, and then we'll go from there. Now, don't go to sending me all these messages about Oh, with it rebuild, send me this part number and with it be, I'll be busy. I, I'll answer you if I can, but I'll be busy. So don't get mad with me if you go to sending me messages like that and I don't respond, uh, respond two or three days later because I'll be busy, gang. But if you're interested in the swap, that's how you get to me. And once you, you know, once you, once I see you serious about doing the swap, then what Willie Rebuild gonna do is I'm gonna shoot you my contact information and then we can line everything up. As you can see, this is this is the end result of what you get when you come to Willie Rebuild, baby. That's right. So enough talking. Enough talking. It's time for me to get the car in the air and show y'all how to install these long tube headers on the G-Body game. So I'm going to go ahead and get my jack out. That's right. I don't need a shop. I can do this wherever, wherever the car at, I can do it. The shop just make it a little bit more comfortable. I don't need a lift. I don't need none of that. I do it right here in his garage. That's right. So let me go ahead and get the car jacked up. And we're going to go ahead and install these nice, pretty ceramic coated headers on the cutlass to make the swap look a little bit more clean again. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications, man. A lot of y'all ain't got the notification bell on. I'm about to start dropping a lot of content for y'all, gang. A lot, back to back, get consistent. That's right, I need them big checks from YouTube too. I'ma cut y'all on in a minute, gang. All right, gang, we back, gang. So the first thing we gotta do, is we gotta get this car jacked up nice and high. See, I got them big old fashioned stand, baby. Get that, get this joker jacked up nice and high on both sides. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get these hitters in the middle. Make the cutters look pretty. That's right. Side. 
as you can see, got the nice, pretty ceramic coated headers. And what you gotta do is, you can't put them in from the top. They ain't gonna grow in from the top. You gotta put them in from the bottom. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of this wrapping that they got on. And that's a beautiful finish on that gang, as y'all can see. Thank you, see, he paid about 400 to get him ceramic coated. Beautiful finish. Looking nice and pretty. We're going to go ahead and get him installed on the cuts. Uh, let's see. Gotta do a little finagling game to get them in there. You left the gasket on, huh? Yeah, it's still on me. All right, the gasket right there. The passenger side went inside the car. I gotta use my jacket to stand for what you do to stand on, bro. falling out of my pocket. But as y'all can see, I got the header sitting in there. 
you gotta get the boat started and I'm gonna cut y'all off and cut y'all back on once I get the boat started, gang. All right, gang. We got that driver side header in there. Pretty easy. Look pretty clean, as you can see. Nice little situation we got going here. Just gotta go ahead and tighten up all the bolts. And um, I'm gonna get all the bolts tightened up. And then I'm gonna cut y'all back on. And then we gonna, I'm gonna cut y'all off and we gonna jack the car up and then we'll do the other side, gang. And also I'll show y'all under the car. Well, he did his own tubular suspension, the car louvers. He did all that. Once he got the car back from getting swapped, he did all that on his own. So once I jack the car up, I'll give y'all a peek under the car or how it look since he left the hands of old Willie Rebuild, gang. All right, gang, so with the spoke plugs back reinstalled and the wires, the driver side is done. So now we're going to move over to the passenger side and repeat the process. Now on the passenger side, you're going to have to remove your dipstick to get the headers, remove your spark plugs because um, you don't want to be fighting with the spark plugs or risk uh breaking one or damaging it trying to get the head up so remove your dipstick and your spark plugs and from the bottom everything gonna be from the bottom with long tube headers now with a manifold uh mid link you might be able to slide it in from the top not really sure i don't really use mid links or, or stock manifolds it's mostly long tube headers so we're gonna go ahead and Jack the car up, as you can see, got the stand sitting there on the highest level, the big stands I got. And we're gonna go ahead and jack this side up and repeat the process, gang. All right, gang, so with the car jacked up in the L and the dipstick removed, now I can go under the bottom of the car and slide in the passenger side header. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a look up under the car with the suspension upgrades he went ahead and made. As you can see, he put callovers all the way around. Rear suspension is the same way. Um, put the brace from BMR. BMR lower control arms. He upgraded the steering linkage um put the pro forge the uh little connecting rod on the suspension and got away from the old style connecting rod on the front suspension on the linkage so also went ahead and put four brand new tires on it and uh did a little more cleanup on the frame it's looking pretty clean you ain't gotta do a frame off game. You just gotta take your time and clean it up. Just take your time, clean it up, make it look presentable. It's a daily driver damn near. You drive it to work and all this stuff here. So, I mean, you ain't really gotta do a frame off when you're gonna be doing that. Frame off is more for a trailer queen, show coat that never drive in traffic. That's right. So, enough talking. Let me go ahead and get the header installed. And then I'll cut y'all back on and show y'all the finished results, gang. That's right. All right, gang, we back. Then went ahead and installed the gasket, put the dipstick back, put the plugs back in. Passage inside is done. It's basically the same thing as the uh, driver side. You just repeating the process. Sometime I jack the car up and uh, 
jacked the front up completely off the ground both sides this time i did it one at a one at a time because when you jack one side up you can get the car a little bit higher which make it a lot easier but y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think about these ceramic coated headers on the cutlass and let me know if y'all think it was worth the 400 bucks to get them ceramic coated they was uh it was just the black finish on them at first and the header the the paint was starting to burn off after a few months and it was going to start rusting so y'all get in the comments and let me know if y'all think that that situation right there was worth the four hundred dollars or if y'all would have left it like it was it's willie rebuild telling you don't forget to like share comment and subscribe turn on the notification bell baby because i'm about to have a lot of content coming for y'all that's right back to back every day almost stay tuned it's willie rebuild over and out baby